So I recently released a video criticizing Coco, the recent diss track from PewDiePie, and, and I basically hate it. That that video is now down. Uh, the video got removed. I I don't know any of that bitch. But anyways, when I first heard the song Coco, the level of discomfort I had was through the roof. I hated the childlike aesthetic, even though it was done for a parody reason, and I thought it was tasteless, and it was a blind way to tackle Coco Melon. I was pretty much criticized to the ground for that video, and I think it's because everyone thinks that song is not supposed to be criticized, and I shouldn't have been taking it as seriously as I was. Looking back, yeah, I didn't like the song, but I hated it for reasons that I, I think I didn't explain nearly as well as I should have. I was bored by the song immediately, the Coco song. I thought ma that making a child-sounding rap song is a sin, parody or not, and the execution was awful. The rhymes weren't that funny, and it was predictable and lol random, and some of the hardcore truth bombs, uh, like, literally made just no sense like these lines about 6 9 and PewDiePie pretending to be a bad influence yes I understand they doesn't actually curse in front of the children but it doesn't make the final product any less uncomfortable to watch the whole song was a disaster and I see so many similar things with this and other songs that Boyna Band has created now let me start by saying that I do not have any issues with David as a person and I am not trying to do this as an attack on him as a person, but I do plan to heavily attack or at least criticize the music, uh, as I don't think that he has a single song that I would argue is even close to sounding or feeling good to listen to. So we're going to be breaking down the song Don't Stay in School, a song asking the audience not to stay in school. Ooh. But it's not actually about that. It's more of just a clickbait title. Um, basically, as Boy in a Band is just asking for various, like, things to change in segments of school. But I want to explain my opinion on why I really don't like this song. And I remind you, this is literally from the perspective of an actual college dropout. I dropped out of college to do YouTube full-time, and that being said, I still find the song to be distasteful. So, let's look at it together, and let's criticize it. Okay, so imagine this. I am a new listener who is a big fan of music. Music is my entire life, and I've just been greeted to this song. And the first thing that I'm introduced to is this beat. And this beat immediately reminds me of an Owl City, like, shitty 2008 leftover. The tone is already confusing within the first few seconds, as a song that is titled Don't Stay in School with a beat like this honestly is, is insulting. <laughs> It's insulting. It, it feels like a beat choice that should have been left in the drawing board. It, it should have been a more serious tone setter, like something that isn't this chimey, ringtone sounding bullshit. But again, Boyna Band often uses very trendy sounds in his music, and I think that they work against him. And I'm going to get more into that as it goes on. The video also sets a completely serious tone as you see David looking around like he is thinking deeply about what he's about to say, which makes it even harder to stomach the lyrics, which take a serious but not really that serious kind of tone. It doesn't even take me a full minute to already decide I don't like something. I can already tell that this song is going to be a distasteful combination. I wasn't taught how to get a job. But I can remember dissecting a frog. So this is the very first line, addressing how David was never taught how to get a job, but he can remember something he deems useless. In this case, dissecting a frog. Simple enough. But why pick on something that actually sounds like an interesting experience? Now, again, this is just my opinion, but David says that he remembers dissecting a frog, and I'm immediately supposed to assume that this is a bad thing. If this song is really trying to have a serious message, it really should have picked examples that sound actually useless. Yes, finding a job is an important thing to know, but also in the age of the internet, there are so many job finding tools, and it makes the song feel like he's just complaining about having to find a job rather than him putting in the work to actually find one. But according to the song, Song, it's all the school's fault that David does not know this stuff, when in reality, even though he has a good point, he simply chose a horrible example that doesn't land any point. The next line, though, is an even worse offender. I wasn't taught how to pay tax. But I know loads about Shakespeare's classics. So in school, I learned how to do taxes, basic taxes. I learned about the forms. I learned how to write checks. And I even learned how to eat the right way. But I learned all of this from a special program that you had to qualify for. The only people who had access to this incredible program were those with crippling disabilities. I qualified because of my awful ADHD. School was just an awful experience for me. And believe it or not, as an adult, I would love to be able to remember something exciting from school. But I don't. I remember very little positive stuff from school because I had an awful time in it. But again, remember that this song is called Don't Stay in School, which up to this point has been defined as the only solution. I am led to assume that because Boy in a Band knows about Shakespeare and frogs, but not about jobs or taxes, that school is not teaching us enough useful stuff for it to be worth it to go. This is not a strong argument in the slightest. Let me address the second problem up to this point, which is the flow and the voice. I wasn't taught how to pay tax. 
but I know loads about Shakespeare's classics. The tone of his voice is so up and down it actually feels like he is struggling to set any sort of tone for this song still. It feels like he is actually struggling to sound serious. I was never taught how to vote, they devoted that time to defining isotopes, isotopes, isotopes. The facial expressions that David has throughout this video really tell it all. It looks like he is making snarky faces constantly. And I honestly assume that this is just him trying to put his heart into these lyrics, but it is distracting, and it is constantly putting this negative emphasis on things like isotopes. Isotopes! You could be upset with school, you could be upset that schools did not teach you how to vote, but is it a science teacher's job to do that? Maybe not. These two things are really only here to rhyme the last few lines, but it doesn't even rhyme in the song. It sounds like a forced rhyme that doesn't even rhyme. His delivery of the word isotopes is also so jagged and it feels forced. So I wasn't taught how to look after my health, but mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Now, if you're like me, you hear this line and you cringe very hard, but, uh, but that's, you know, that's just an aside. Uh, notice how this is the only time that David has actually sounded very serious in these last two lines. Powerhouse of the cell! Uh, despite the entire first four bars being almost identical, dedicated to the exact same thing said in four different times. And the important info that we're supposed to gather here is that David is one, uneducated in finding a job, paying tax for a job that of course doesn't exist, voting and looking after his health. These are really good points that were completely cheapened with awful forced memes, forced rhymes, and a horrible flow that sounds like an anxious kid trying to ask permission to use the bathroom. Well, never spent a lesson on current events. Instead, I studied the old American West. The news exists. It has existed for a very long time. Maybe if you looked at the news instead of goofing off, you would have known what was actually happening in the world. Uh, it's not that hard to find out about current events. This, this is actually just a very petty line. Um, I mean, even in my school, which by the way, was a complete shithole where that had no money, no money whatsoever. I basically had the worst school experience possible and I still think he is sounding like he's mindlessly complaining. I was never taught what laws there are. I was never taught what laws there are. Let me repeat, I was not taught what laws, all laws, all laws. I was not taught the laws for the country I live in. I like this part of the song as uh, since he has clearly established that the song has no flow or rhyme structure, there's not much issue with just throwing all creativity out of the window to just establish and and hone in on a point. But I know how Henry VIII killed his women, divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. Glad that's in my head instead of financial advice. This is by far my least favorite part of this entire song. Lines like this, one just feels so incredibly bitchy and privileged. It actually hurts me physically. No one should have this attitude if they're trying to convince anyone of anything. Like, my eyes roll so far back in my head, I just want to give this line an L and move on. And you just complained about the laws and said specifically instead of that, you knew he King Henry... Oh, God, okay. It's like, what blows my mind about this is that he assumes that because he thinks of King Henry instead of financial advice that it's the school's fault when clearly he is aware that this is something he needs to know. So why doesn't he actually just go out and look for this information? He is a capable adult. There's like, it, it actually blows my mind that he is so well at tracking these certain things he needs to know and yet he is blaming the schools instead of actually just going out and searching for these things. That is is a problem. I know igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks, yet I don't know squat about trading stocks. Okay, it is not the school's job to tell you how to invest your money into stocks. This is just so fucking stupid. Does no one hear this and question this at all? This is a song about school being useless and half the bars are just complaining about things that schools should just not have to do. So how money works at all? Where does it come from? How does the thing that motivates the world function? If this is true, then blame your own individual school for being trash. Even my school, which was shithole elementary, living hell middle school, and nothing ever happens high school, I learned all the basic stuff of the world. Literally, there is an infinite amount of knowledge out there, just a click of way. But this song banks that it will mention one of these things to you, and you will relate to one of them and say, oh yeah, school is pointless. But this just comes off as short-sighted. Not taught to budget and disperse my earnings. I was too busy there rehearsing cursing. I was never taught to read or write. But I could get a double kill in Fortnite. You're saying that's absolutely insane. They made me learn that over basic first aid. He wastes so much time saying that math, that this math teacher taught him math instead of health. It is, oh God, it frustrates me, dude. Math is such a beautiful thing. I hated school, but God damn, did I love math. And this just insults my intelligence to this 
awful level. It is like scratching this itch that never should be scratched in my head. How to recognize the most deadly mental disorders or diseases with preventable causes, or how to buy a house with a mortgage if I could afford it, because abstract maths was deemed more important. So this is actually a very good point, followed up with a horrible connecting point, turning something actually important uh, into being all school's fault, once again, because you learn math instead. An advice that would literally save thousands of lives. But it's cool, because now I could tell you if the number of unnecessary deaths caused by that choice was prime. <sighs> this, uh, this line, it's cute in a vacuum. Cute, you know, that is, it's the edgiest line in the whole Edge Fest song, right? Uh, knowing that a huge number is prime, though, is actually not as easy as it sounds. It, it's kind of impressive that he can do that. Uh, but also, if your only concern from a death toll is that it's a prime number, then I'm pretty sure it's not the school's problem. Um, this line just sounds like one of many that was written in five seconds without any actual consideration of what is being said. Never taught present day practical medicines, but I was told what the ancient Hippocratic method is. I've got a headache, the pain is ceaseless, what should I take? Um, maybe try some leeches? This is actually a great set of bars, and it's uh, it's worth mentioning through all the criticism that if, um, if, the, if the point of the song is that dire situations where David needs to know medical information, he is frustrated. And, and he's frustrated that he only knows historical methods, then this is actually a really cool point with a possible solution. Uh, I also don't think that the rhyme is forced and it's not distracting enough to, to be a problem. Yeah, I like this line quite a bit. And I, and I wish that there were more lines like this that actually connected like real problems with real like things that made sense instead of just, you know, bullshit. Could we discuss domestic abuse and get the facts or how to help my depressed friend with a mental state? Um, no, but learn mental maths because you won't have a calculator with you every day. Oh, God, man, this fucking line. Okay, I'm sorry. While this is a shocking line, and while I agree, this is a serious problem. Oh my God, mental illness being used and the calcul- Okay, oh, okay. Hmm. <sighs> Therapy exists, okay? Some schools even have school therapy. And look, these are not always the solutions, but they are certainly implemented in schools for this exact reason. It is a good point, like a very good point. It like the, oh. oh, but also leaving school is definitely not the solution to this. Also school teaches you formulas so you can use the calculator to insert the numbers. Um, it's fucking insane how stupid this song is sometimes. Sorry, back to objective Brad. They say it's not the kids, the parents are the problem. Then if you taught the kids to parent, that's the problem solved then. All this advice about using a condom, but not for when you actually have a kid when you want one. They say it's not the kids, the parents are the problem. Then if you taught the kids to parent, that's the problem solved then. All this advice about using a condom, but none when you actually have a kid when you want one. Um. I... <sighs> This line is such a mess. I, I don't even understand what the point is here. Like, it's it's a joke solution, but then a serious solution. This line actually says nothing, and I've read it over like four four or five times, and, and I still think that it's like so poorly organized. I think what he's trying to say is that teachers say that it's, you know, the parents are the problem, so why don't the teachers teach the new generation how to be better parents, but that doesn't actually solve the problem of the kids struggling in school. You could tell them how to be a better parent, but it doesn't mean it's going to fix their school experience. Um, yeah, I, I, ugh. Like, these are just actual dog shit solutions. Like, I'm sorry. Um, anyways. I'm only fluent in this language for serious. The rest of the world speaks too. Do you think I'm an idiot? The whole world does not speak two languages, but again, I see, this is in hindsight, you know what? So many language learning tools exist, and most schools actually have languages that you have to take to get credits. Again, literally bitching about something you actually go to school to learn. Um, yeah. But you simply put it to French. This uh, this translate to. But yes, I do speak a little French, which of course makes absolutely no song, uh, no sense in this song. Also, completely contradicting what he said before about not learning languages in school. Like, not even kidding. This is just so sad. This is not 46 million view worthy content. This is writing so shit it hurts my hippocampus. But I won't take it. I'll tell everyone my childhood was wasted. <sighs> Maybe, just maybe, it was the friends we made along the way. 
I stare at everywhere how I was educated and insist these pointless things don't stay in school. Now, I think that the fact that he says these pointless things don't stay in school is just a bullshit way to blanket over the fact that he's not telling people to not stay in school because the entire song really it is putting in this perspective that school is not actually teaching you use useful information so i'm not actually going to accept this whole you know these things don't stay in school thing because the whole song is clickbait it's literally do hashtag don't stay in school above it like if i look at this title like it just says don't stay in school like it doesn't it's it's actual fucking clickbait like actual clickbait anyways um yeah so that's don't stay in school now again i think this song has an incredible message and that is what hurts me the most is the fact that the song is is blanketed and protected by the fact that it has a good message because it's a horrible song it is absolutely abysmal but the things that he says like actually have some merit yeah these are important things that would be helpful if they were taught in school but the way that he addresses them just feels like a complete joke and it makes it so the song is like i can't really take it that seriously anyways anyways that is going to be it thank you guys for watching uh peace out see you